Uh, this part, lecture seven, I consider this lecture is very um, interesting and also very important in my life in particular because uh, I do meditate the, the attribute, attribute, you know meaning attribute? Okay, the attribute of the Trinity God uh, on a daily basis. Uh, you will be receiving all kinds of uh, uh, blessings as you meditate. Uh, the attribute of Trinity God. Uh, let me challenge all of you uh, after my this uh, lessons in this uh, particular section here. Please practice uh, these twelve twelve attribute uh, as to the Trinity God. I guarantee all of you will uh, receive all kinds of comfort and encouragement and, and spiritual blessings in every dimension in the lives of uh, your daily uh, conduct and daily problems would be Resolved as you meditate these 12 uh, attributes of the Trinity God. Let me tell you, this is what I have uh, analyzed, okay? Uh, I have uh, written this, my analysis uh, in the book, which I call The Origin of Religions, and the second book is what? What is the purpose of creation? Remember, it's written in English. Here, here. What are the attributes of Trinity God? Here, there are at least three sections, three aspects, three aspects of the Trinity God. Uh, here, in this language is uh, you may not understand. Ontological, just pronounce it, ontological attribute. Ontology, it's a, it's a philosophical, philosophical terminology, ontological term. That is existential. This also is a philosophical term. Existential attribute. In other words, the Trinity God exists. Okay, he exists at least in four aspects, in four aspects way. He exists in the form of Trinity God. Okay, Genesis 1.1 1, 1 and 1.26 and 3.22 and so on. We have studied that. So always, always contemplate, meditate, our God, you exist in Trinity, always meditated, okay, which I do all the time. And not only that, you exist self-existent. In other words, you are not the creature, okay, you are, you are not created by someone. Okay, you exist self-existent apart from all creatures. Okay, all creatures are created by the Creator, but you, Trinity God, Father God, and Son God, and Holy Spirit God, you are not created by someone. You exist self-existent. So it's therefore you are self-existent God. 
In Exodus 3.14, Moses asked, Who are you? Then he said, I am who I am. That means I am self-existed God. The only God, okay, we, we consider our God is only God who is self-existent God. You meditate that. So, therefore, you are the creator. Not only that, you exist in eternity. From eternity to eternity. So, eternal God, which is very powerful, okay? Psalm 92, Isaiah 40, 28. So when you teach your people, always open the Bible and read it together. Okay? Don't just provide them Bible references and finish it. Don't do that. You open your Bible together and read it, underline that portion, and let them memorize it. And you explain what I mean by eternal God. Okay? In other words, that you are not time you are not the time related. You are not limited to time. You are beyond the time. You are eternal. No, no perish it. Eternally existing God. What a powerful our God. Okay? And you said. Lord Jesus, I am corruptible and limited, limited in, my, in my age, and I will be, I will be physically die. Okay? I am very limited person. However, because of your crucifixion on the cross, I have gained eternity out of you. So, although I'm living in this limited time world, but upon my physical death, I will be entering into eternity because of you. Amen? Yeah, so eternal God and immutable God. Immutable means, what does it mean? It's unchanging. That's immutable. Unchanging. Once you promise, you will keep the promise. You will not change your mind. Okay? When you promise, your promise never, never ends. Your promise will continue eternally. Okay? You will, you will not, you, are, you don't have a double tongues. Once you said, that's it. Immutable. Immutable. Okay? So we trust you because you are Immutable God, immutable accent is right here. Immutable, immutable. In in, in, in English speaking, people, immutable. But I don't I don't pronounce it that way. I pronounce the non English people's way. Immutable. This is the way we can learn English. So when you teach in English, don't the, you just pronounce the way your people pronounce. That's the best way for you to teach them for their better understanding. Okay? There are many different, different ways of English pronunciation around the world. American way, African way, Middle Eastern way, Asian ways, Indonesian ways, oh, different English. As I 
That is my expression, my, my experience. I thought everybody is speaking in American way. No, it's not. British way, Australian way, New Zealand way, German way, Iraq English, Iranian English, all different. Nepali English, different. Anyway, first attribute, don't forget that, ontological existential attribute. First is what? You are Trinity God. You exist. You exist self-existence God. Okay? You exist in, in eternity. You are eternal God. And you are not changing God. You are immutable God. Always meditate this for Memorize, memorize, it, and repeat, and repeat, and meditate it. And second attribute, second aspect in terms of ministry, ministerial aspect, okay, is, is a ministerial aspect. You are creator God, okay, you, and you know everything, you say omni means all, you know Everything omniscient to God. Accent is omniscient to God. Okay? So, omniscient, not omniscient to God. Got it? Omni means all. Scient means science. Science means knowing. So, you know everything that always always implies you know past you know present also you know future this is very powerful our Lord Jesus our Father God our Holy Spirit God always referring to three persons okay Lord Jesus, you know my past, you know my present situation, you know what will happen in the future in my life. What a powerful, okay? And also, in terms of history, you know my country's past history. You know, present time, my country's situation. You know what, what will happen to my country in the days to come. Omniscient God. You know my family in the past. You know my family present time. You know what would happen to my family in the days to come. Okay? You meditate all this. Apply to any situations. Omniscient God. When you are in, I would say, ill-treated by someone, uh, and you say, Lord Jesus, you know my situation. I've been unrightfully, unjustly treated by these people because of your name but you know Jesus they are bad you know I am, I've been dealing with wrongly uh, out of those people but you know because you are omniscient God okay always in your prayer you refer to the attribute of our God. And also, you are om, over here, accent is omni, omnipotent. It, it's, a, it's a different accent. That those English speaking people put accent in differently. Omniscient God, okay? Over here, omnipotent God, they said that. 
I don't know why they said that. That's why I've learned that. Okay. Omnipotent God means almighty God. Okay. Powerful God. Okay. You can do whatever you want. You see here, Genesis 17, 1, Abraham said, and Revelation 15, 3, John said, you are omnipotent God. You can do whatever you want. Omnipotent God. Almighty God. That's all the same expressions. Okay. No one can deter from your doing. Okay. You have 100% right to do. Okay. As you are willing. Not only that. You are omnipresent God. Present. You are everywhere. Okay. Holy Spirit is in your, in your family back home at this, in this particular hour, in this particular time, moment. Okay. Although physically we, we are away, but Jesus the Holy Spirit, okay, now here, listen to me. Father God always dwell in the throne of the third heaven. Father God will not move around. He always sits, okay, in his glory. Where? In his throne. Father God. Glorious, glorious appearance. Therefore, we creatures cannot see Father God. We can only see His glory. However, so He, His location, Father God's location, always where? In His throne. In the third heaven. However, Jesus God moves around, okay, from the third heaven all the way to even to the hell. He moves around, travels around. Because he is what? Actor, practitioner, doer. He is actually doing whatever Father God decided and declares what to do. However, now listen to me carefully. When Jesus moves around, always his spirit, Holy Spirit accompanies, accompanies together with Jesus. Which means Jesus and the Holy Spirit always together. Okay? Because the Holy Spirit, that is enabling spirit. Okay? Therefore, always helping Jesus in his every moment of his acting. So, Jesus and Holy Spirit working together. And walking together, walking together, working together, working and walking and accompanying it together. So when Jesus is here in the midst of us, then of course, Holy Spirit always follows together. With an exception of what? Father God, who is above. Therefore, Omnipresent God. Omnipresent God means Father God dwells in the third heaven while Jesus God and Holy Spirit God travels everywhere. Everywhere, not in a sense of our way. He, he dwells everywhere okay, at one time. At one time, in other words, 
in this particular moment, Jesus and Holy Spirit, they are in Africa, our brothers in Africa, at the same time here in Korea and in Iran, Iraq, our hometown in Indonesia and Nepal, okay, in America, in the Philippines, all over at the same time. So you always meditate. Jesus, you are with me now. The Holy Spirit, you are with me. But in this particular moment, you are with our family members back home. My children back home. So you visualize always in your prayer, in your meditation, you visualize his presence with our family members, our ministry, our church members, okay, wherever they are, Jesus and Holy Spirit are there with them. What a powerful uh, spiritual significant messages involved in this attribute. Okay? In ministerial attribute, creator God, he created everything. He knows everything. He is almighty power God. And also he present everywhere at one time. Okay. He is in the midst of us and also in the midst of your family back home. Now, third aspect, okay, since we are not a English-speaking, mother tongue, English-speaking people, you see, you write that down here, character and the character law logical. That's the English expression here. Character law logical. Like, you know, Israel and the study of Israel we call Israel uh, law logic. See? Not Israel logic. Israel law or all, all logic. See? Can you see all logi? All is there. The same way here, Maria. You see, study on Maria. You see, Mary, 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 all logi. Mary, all logi. The doctrine of Maria. Ology. You write it down there. Okay. Ology. Ology. This is uh, English people uh, expresses ology. So character or logical. Characterological attribute in a four aspects right here. He's a loving God. Jesus, you are loving God. Always referring to Trinity God. Father God, you are loving God. And then Holy Spirit God, you are loving God. Okay, in three persons. You are gracious God. Holy Spirit, you are gracious God. And Jesus, you are gracious God. Holy Spirit, you are great, gracious God. Jesus, you are gracious God. And also, Father, you are gracious God. Okay? Merciful also and righteous God. So, loving God, gracious God, Merciful God, righteous God. 
It's a righteous means you are lawful. Lawful. Then the, you always go by law that you have set up. You go by the law which you have set up. Okay? That lawful and righteous. So you, you, you measure a person according to your law, whether, whether this person is faithful to your law or not. You, you will give us reward according to the law that you set up. So he will judge us according to the law that you have set up. Okay? Degree of your obedience to the law will determine your position in heaven. That, okay, implies you are righteous God. In other words, you are the, you are the God who goes by your law that you established. Okay? Yeah. Therefore, here, Lord Jesus and the Holy Spirit teach me how to uh, imitate you. How to imitate you in the areas of your character, law, logical aspect. Since you are loving God, I want to be a loving person like you. I want to be a gracious person like you. I want to be a merciful person like you. At the same time, I want to be a righteous person like you. Once I set up the law, okay, I will ask my people to follow the law. Based on that law, I can, I can determine my position of that particular person. What? Okay? So our God is lawful God. Lawful God. So now, attribute. How many attribute? At least 12 attribute. Three aspects. First is onto, onto, ontological, existential attribute. Second, ministerial attribute. Okay? And thirdly, characterological attribute. So you memorize it, which I do, and practice it, meditate it on a daily basis, daily basis as a pastor. And then the Holy Spirit will give you abundant blessings as you meditate the attribute of our Trinity God in a very special way you will receive their blessings. Amen? Amen.